what's up everybody this is Jason the Gentleman Gamer here again I was asked by somebody and I think it was on YouTube about the dimming quality of the Gen 2 versus Gen 3 I hadn't actually thought or even considered that there may be a difference but I did read maybe like five minutes before reading that question that there is a difference in the quality of the dims which some say helps with going to bed and or waking up and that it will go through a more full range of light versus just really strong or really dark uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some quick testing of that, showing it to you. I will turn off the light, obviously. Uh, I'm going to have to do some clipping from one to the other with the videos, so bear with me. I'll try my best to make it as seamless looking as possible. But, yeah, that's what we'll be looking at, and I hope you enjoy. This is the blue color at 50%. And this is the blue at almost... I've almost got the darkness or the brightness turned all the way down at this point. I don't know how well it's going to come across in the video, but on the right, which is the Gen 3 is on your right, the Gen 2 is on your left yet again. The Gen 3, as you can see, is it's much dimmer. Gen 2 on the left side is definitely putting out a bit more light. It's quite noticeable, especially in the video. I can see the Gen 2, but I can't hardly see the Gen 3, so it's definitely got some better dimming there. And now we're making a go at it with the greens. We're going to start at full brightness, which you can see here. Uh, and I am using the Hue Pro app. I have the X and Ys I manipulated all the way to the left and the right to make the green color. As you can see again, the left, which is Hue 2, is a P-yellow color versus the green on the right. But anyhow, I digress. We've seen the color differences. Let's look at the dim. Here we have about 50% of brightness. Okay, and here we have the Gen 2 once again on the left, where you can see it is definitely brighter than Gen 3 on the right. Uh, the color stays true to green, whereas on the left it continues to be yellow. But as for the dimming, you can definitely notice a difference in this picture. It's just, it's, it is a lot dimmer. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. I hadn't noticed it before, but putting it in contrast and comparing them one to the other in this dark room, I, it's... It's kind of, it's pretty stark, the difference between the two. I'll definitely be putting that other Gen 3 bulb in here so it'll be easier to get this dark at night while still having any color. Presuming I want color anyway. And now we're going to give it a whirl with the red. Here's that full brightness. This is at about half brightness. Okay, and here with the reds, there's not as stark of a difference as far as the dimness as there was with the blue and the green. It does look slightly dimmer, but with the reds it's not quite as noticeable as it was with the other two colors. But there you have the red. And now we'll just look at the yellow. I've got the X and the Y all the way to the right for this. Again, this is the uh, Philips Hue Pro app. Alright, now technically this is a little below half on the brightness scale, but it the point's still the same. You can see on the left it is slightly more output of light, whereas on the right it's looking a little dimmer. And sure enough, the left side, Hue 2, is definitely putting out more light than the right side, which is Hue 3. Here we have, um, I went to the Hue Pro app, max color temperature. I took the slider bar all the way to the right, and this is with max brightness. Now we're going to take the brightness down. Okay, and here we have roughly half of the brightness. And here we have the brightness turned all the way down. Uh, once again, Hue version 2, not quite as dim as version 3. Now we've got the temperature bar all the way to the left, and technically this is the highest I can get the temperature to go versus the lowest, which is the more warm. This is the more uh, cool white. Now we're going to try getting that temperature, not the temperature, but the brightness down. This is here, give or take about halfway on the brightness meter. And here is the cool white with the temperature all the way down as far as I can get it. So again, results are consistent. Version 2, not as dim as version 3. Alright guys, well there you have it. As you can tell, the version 3 or Hue Gen 3 was definitely doing a lot better with dimness. If you're trying to use this either to go to bed or to have a more gentle light uh, effect as you're waking up just to make it more gradual, version 3 is definitely superior. I mean, I can't argue with that one. You could definitely see a difference between the 
dimming of version 3 or Hue Gen 3 versus Hue Gen 2. Hue Gen 2 still, I mean, it still does a great bunch of colors, it just is not as good with dimming or with a few of the colors uh, over there. So, if you have any other questions, please by all means let me know. I'm more than happy to try and work with you to get some content to show you as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, thank you again so much for your time. Please feel free to click that like button and or subscribe. I'm working on getting some more content as requests come in. So have a great night and thank you for your time. Bye.